What's up, everybody? For the win, Itachi here. You know what it is. And thank you very much for tuning in to another Pokey Vlog brought to you by for the win at youtube.com slash for the win at Now before we get started with this video, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what's going to be cooking today. This is going to be a two part video and I believe I'm going to be doing this from now on. On Saturdays and Sundays, today is Saturday, I'm going to be going out there, I'm going to be adventuring through. We are going to be getting as many Pokemon as possible until this battery dies and I do have an extra one. So until both batteries die, but I'm going to have some fun with my friends, we're going to play some soccer as well, do some other stuff in the meantime. But for right now, Saturdays and Sundays are going to be two-part vlog adventures. Now, I am level 7 at the moment, so you have probably missed a little bit. I have about roughly just under 2,000 experience points to go until level 8. I have 4,740 coins. You're probably wondering how I got them. I have been doing some gym battles, but I haven't shown you them yet. I wanted to figure out and understand them before I did so. So now that I've figured them out, I've a I actually got a cheating gym. It's uh, there's a gate. There's, it's not a gated community, but it's uh, like a gated property, and it closes at 9 p.m. So I go there at about 8:55, make sure I get it in, and there's no way you can get close to the gym without going into the gated property, and they don't mind me there. So my Pokemon just sit there until they reopen, and on the weekends they're closed. So I just have Pokemon sitting there stacking up points. I am on Team Valor for those of you that don't know. And I started during the first day and I got a ton of achievements completed. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys my Pokemon really quick while we are at it as well. Catch you guys back up and then I'll show you what we're doing today. We do got a new Persian to the squad, new ponies out to the squad. We got that Rhyhorn, Mankey, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Ekans, Geodude, Marowak, Nidoran, Female, Pidgeotto, Krabby, Venonat, Spiro, Nidorino, Paris, Zubat, Sandshrew, Caterpie, Weedle, Eevee, Diglett, Ratatat, Charmander, Horsey, Growlithe, Clefairy, Eevee again, and Poliwag. I have one of each Pokemon. I have begun transferring my Pokemon and I'm just storing on Candies and Stardust. I'm going to be leveling up these Pokemon pretty damn soon, but everything is just pretty much basic from what I have caught. I do have two eggs going on as well. One is about to hatch in 0.9 kilometers and the other one's got 4.1 kilometers to go. Next up, in my bag, we have a, we have a couple potions, revives. Got them Pokeballs, I am stacked up for right now, Egg Incubator and Camera. I am going to go ahead and purchase a couple things from the shop and probably going to be some incenses, lucky eggs and some lure modules depending on the location that we end up going to. Um, and that's about it. Last but not least, our Pokedex is pretty much good to go so far. But I want to go ahead and show you what we're going to be planning on doing today. It's going to be a little bit different, I will vlog as much as possible. Um, we'll probably be playing roughly for about five to eight hours depending on how long these batteries last for and It's gonna be a compilation of catching you might hear some random music played in the background We might be brought back to me if I have anything fun and cool to say But other than that, I just want to say I hope you enjoy these episodes every Saturday and Sunday Both of them are gonna be combined into one great vlog and then during the week We will vlog as much as possible during Pokemon Go Adventure Time let me know in the comment section down below if you have any uh, suggestions. Uh, if you're looking for any specific guides, I have been releasing guides as well. And last but not least, again, if you have any suggestions, please go ahead and post in the comment section down below. Check out the description box, my donations link down there. This is a brand new Pokemon channel and we've got so much more planned for you. Not just Pokemon, but athletic wise as well as FIFA related when FIFA 17 comes out. But right now, we are mainly focused on Pokemon and of course Pokemon Go, and that's just probably never going to end. Pokemon Sun and Moon is going to come out soon. I got so much to go for with you guys, and for now, this is a Poke Vlog, so let's go ahead and hit it up with some Pokemon Go. Alrighty, now before we get started, I actually want to go ahead and start leveling up my Pokemon or evolving some of them. Like I've stated in a video before, it is best to evolve your Pokemon before power up in your Pokemon. And I gave the explanation why in doing so in one of my uh, beginner's guides videos. I'm going to go ahead and look at my Persian. My Persian is fully evolved. I do not have a Meowth right now. Um, but I do have plenty of Stardust to go ahead and spend. And we've got three Meowth candies. So we're going to go ahead and power up this guy three different times. We've got plus 23 and plus 2 into the health category. Go ahead and do two more on my Persian. I want to go ahead and keep you guys updated on my Pokemon as much as possible. Got a plus 24. And then we got one more update to go on this Persian. Because we only have one more candy left. 
And again, I like to only power up my Pokemon once they have been evolved to their max potential. I do, oh, plus 23 again. I do like the fact that my Persian has the moves, I believe it was Faint Attack, which is a Dark type, and Power Gem, which is a Rock type. It's a pretty good combination with a Persian. Uh, the weight and height are about equal right now, but um, I gotta get some Pokemon that are decently strong enough, and that will eventually work its way to more powerful Pokemon. And who knows, I might catch a better Persian in the wild. But for now, Persian is one of my strongest. I do have a Ponyta, but I cannot do too much right now because it is not a goddamn Rapidash. My Rhydon, similar scenario, but I have a lot more Rhyhorn, my Rhyhorn, sorry guys. I do have a lot more Rhyhorn candies in order to power them up, or level them up, I should say, into a uh, Rhydon. Uh, we got a Mankey, but I do not have too many Mankey candies, and Mankey evolves into Primate, so you gotta kinda hold off on that. I've only caught two Bulbasaur, uh, three Bulbasaur, no, two Bulbasaur, two Bulbasaur. Uh, I sacrificed one of them because he was really poor, but um, he's pretty much sitting there and chilling. I did catch a Pikachu last night on one of my incenses, but uh, not too much to go on there. I got a random Ekans at 141. It is a decent catch. It's uh, pretty much almost fully powered up, but uh, I've got 25 Ekans candy, and it is an XL, which is much better. So I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that. Same with the Geodude. It is enough, it's an extra small, though, on the Geodude, so it's kind of poor, but it did have a lot of CP when I caught that. Now, Marowak. I do have a ton of Cubone candy, so we're going to see how far we can go with this one. Uh, the Marowak is fully evolved, has some pretty decent moves. It got plus 24 CP, plus 3 to the HP. It is uh, equal Pokemon, and what I mean by that, it is extra, I mean, it is not extra small and extra large on any of the weight or the height, so it's just a regular Marowak. Uh, nothing too fancy. You got a plus 25, which is really cool. I'm not sure to, right now it's around, uh, roughly around 23 to 25 that I've been noticing on the power-ups. It's got Rock Smash and Dig, and Dig does a lot of damage. I have tested it out in uh, Gym Battle, so I'm, I'm not, not the best move set for a Marowak, but it is pretty damn good. And it is already at uh, 194. I'm getting text messages left and right because I'm about to meet up my friends. But I thought I'd keep you guys posted. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, what Pokemon do you want to see evolve next? And hopefully I can start fishing out more of those Pokemon. I really want my, Char uh, my Charmander to evolve into a Charizard. But that one's going to take quite some time. I've only caught about 3 to 4 Charmanders. And that is taking a lot of time to actually find them. And funny enough, they actually appear right in my house all the time. And that's the only ones I ever find. I guess the most CP you can get is 25. And this Marowak, out of all this, I'm going to probably spend a lot of Stardust on him, is going to be probably power than the Persian. Uh, probably more powerful than the Persian. Um, roughly two more power-ups and it will be powerful than the Persian. And I'm going to keep it roughly around the same. So it's about 317 right now. And we've got... I'm going to keep them right there and see what else do we got cooking. We went over the Geodude, so I'm going to go ahead and check out the um, Nidoran. And we're actually going to evolve this Nidoran. The fuck is that shit? Alright, well I got another phone. I got two, Again, I got two phones. I was just telling you guys about that. Uh, the other one's someone's calling me, so F that. But... Uh, this Nidoran is extra small, extra small, so it is actually very poor, um, but we do have enough candies in order to evolve this one. So this is going to be my very first evolution, so I'm going to spend it on Nidoran, and I think it's worth it because it can possibly get rid of the extra smalls on this Nidoran. Very cool animation. We do have a Nidorina now. Uh, Nido King and Nido Queen, one of my favorite uh, duo types, duo Pokemon in the first gen. Because they were just like the big bad guys of that first generation. They're so massive and powerful looking. And of course the end gym boss has them. So we do got a brand new Nidorina. Registered to the Pokedex. Uh, new brand new moveset. It did carry over with the extra smalls. I have seen some people that have that not carry over. But that's okay. It has Poison Sting and it did have Poison Sting before. And now it's got Dig. So for now, we are going to have this neat arena, but it is now at 198, which is very cool. It upgraded on the CP. So for now, it is decent. Not the best, but we'll take it. We do have a Pidgeotto. Um, it's XL, which is very great, but I do not have enough can Pidgey candies in order to evolve my Pidgeotto. So I'm going to keep him solo for now. Same thing with the Krabby, but that Krabby's an extra small. But hey, 
can't hate on the extra small Krabbies, because have you seen what Ash's Kingler can do? That thing was extra small compared to Gary Oaks, and goddamn, Venonat, pretty much the exact same deal, and I can't really do too much there. Same thing with the Spearow. Again, I only like to evolve my Pokemon before we go ahead and start powering them up. Got an XL Nidorino, which is very great, uh, but we do need to catch a lot more Nidorinos and Nidorans in order to get him into a Nido King, and that will be top notch. Got an XL Paris, who came with a pretty decent amount of uh, CP. Got a Zubat, and I've caught a ton of these, but uh, it requires 50 candies, and I've got 32. Next up, we've got a Sand Shrew. Uh, it is an extra small. It has three candies, and it is the first one I caught, and it is not the best to brag about. Uh, we got a Caterpie. Pretty much, again, same thing. Can't do anything. A, po a Pokemon just appeared, so I'll be catching one before we leave. Got a Weedle. We've got an Eevee. Really can't do too much. I'm just going to get going through these quicker now. Um, as you guys can see, if I just bypass it, that means I cannot evolve them or they're not worth it of power-upping yet because they have not been fully evolved. Same with this Charmander. So I've caught four Charmanders and we got a Horsey. I've only caught one Horsey, so definitely not going to get a Seedra yet. Kingdra will be pretty damn beast though. Growlithe, I would love an Arcanine. I've seen so many people using it and it does seem to be very powerful. Clefairy just chilling there. Again, it's another Eevee and the only reason why I'm keeping multiples on the Eevee side is because there's uh, multiple evolutions that you can get. Uh, and I do got a Poliwag that I caught last night. So everything seems good to go. I'm actually going to power up my uh, Marowak one last time, get him ahead of that Persian, and uh, make it an even amount of Cubone candies. So he's at 341, which isn't too bad. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about my squad. Uh, not the best squad. I do not play so much. But on Saturdays and Sundays, now that you guys see today, we're going to be going ham with the squad. Um, got a Marowak, got a Persian, Ponyta, Rhyhorn, Nidorina, and a Mankey in my top six right now. Hopefully we can get these other Pokemon up there, and hopefully we can catch some more Pokemon today. But we do got a Zubat. Let me go ahead and do a hand switch. Actually, no. No. We got this. Left thumbed. Oh, it's a CP26. Left thumb. Left the... Oh, I didn't even reach. Alright, I'm switching hands. I'm not wasting Pokeballs on this, son. Alright. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Fuck me! Yes! God damn, that was three Pokeballs to catch a shitty Zubat. What is this, man? What is this? Got him. But that just means I got more Zubat candy, so my Golbat gonna come up pretty damn shortly here, son. Uh, I gotta get rid of this one. Oh, 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 extra. Oh, fuck yes. Get out of here. Go to the Professor. GTF. Oh, Bite and Poison Fang. Even worse. God damn, son! Stay tuned for some more guides and let's get back to the vlog. Goody, everybody, we are back at it. Last night was an absolute fail and a half. Um, I, I couldn't find squat. I found tons of Pokestops. I was stacking up on items, but Pokemon, wild Pokemon in general, I was even using incenses and they absolutely did nothing for me. So I'm not sure if it was the servers or the game. But I wasted three incenses and only found six Pokemon. And six of them came from one incense. And it was my last one. I used two incenses, searching for an hour, absolutely got nothing. But you guys just saw a compilation quickly of basically what I did last night. And it wasn't much. And I didn't record everything, but I recorded as much as I could. But it is a brand new day. And we've got a lucky egg going on right now and another incense. And we are trying to get as much experience points as possible, catch as much Pokemon as possible. And we are traveling through a golf course. So hopefully we can find some Pokemon in the grass. We should be able to. It is pretty wildernessy out here. Alrighty, everybody. As I said earlier, I've decided to ditch around my house. And I've decided to actually go to the park. And I just finished eating dinner got a little bit early just so I can get some light in when we get to the park uh, it's about 735 right now and I just ate the biggest bacon and blue cheese double cheeseburger like no joke of all times and of course it's homemade I don't buy no McDonald's crap because McDonald's ain't the same as it is internationally and American McDonald's sucks but it's actually okay to eat sometimes when you are wanting something fast but today I decided to eat fresh and it was huge so I'm glad I'm about to be going out and playing some Pokemon Go because we about to get that walk on you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying 
All right, so basically we're just gonna be traveling around until both batteries are done. We just arrived at the park. We're about to hit up a pokey stop right now. Let's go ahead and check out where this one is. Valley Oak decorative marker for one of the historic, I have no clue what this is, um, but I believe I do see it right in front of me. It is, ooh, it's, okay, it's part of the Frisbee Golf. Part of the Frisbee Golf. We got tons of dog walkers around here. And I'm just in the middle of nowhere right now. As you guys can see, there's a mountain behind me. The park's actually over there, but I'm just, I decided to come to the back. Start from the back, you know what I mean? You hit it from the back and then you go to the front. That's just how we roll. About to hit a bunch of dog walkers though, so let's get over. All right, so we definitely just found this place. It is this right here, this little stick. I have no clue what, what it is though. I really don't. I've, been, I've lived here for 10 years. Valley Oak decorative marker for one of the historic. Well, we just got, ooh, egg. Let's see what type of KM kilometers that is. We're right next to a dog park, so of course we're gonna expect these dogs to bark. Uh, definitely not, what is this? What is this? Central Park Trailhead. Half, <laughs> I know exactly where that is. I'm not walking over there, I'll tell you that much. Ooh! Got him, got him, right off the bat. Jew dude, about to catch this guy. I took off my AR so my battery can last, and it is a bad CP right now, son. But we just got that nice, just got that nice. All right, I'm gonna start heading to the next one. I don't, I don't expect us to wait for this one. Got it, done, game. Oh my gosh, you got a lot of walking to do, but at least, at least we're burning off them calories right now, son. All right, so we just got that Geodude candy. This one's probably useless, but uh, I'll deal with that when I get home on transferring. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. 10 rock types, son. So we're getting the medals. Getting the medals. You know what it is. Which way, whoa, which way do I want to go? I, what is, what is this one? What is this? Disc golf trailhead. All right, I'm going back. I'm going back. All right, so we're about to hit two pokey stops, two and one right here. We, well, actually, the, the one that is farther away is not as close as it seems, but it, it, it's a two-fur right here. First one, what do we got? Am I even close enough? It is this golf trailhead from the previous Pokestop. We were able to check out where this one is, and it was I was correct. There was two paths that we can take. One was up there, up on top of the mountains, and decided to take the lower path, of course, and we are close enough, so let's go ahead and grab the items out of this. Haven't found any Pokemon besides that Geodude yet. And that Geodude was complete rubbish. But we gotta take what we can take. Leveling up is leveling up. Do I have a lucky egg on right now? Nah, I don't have a lucky egg on right now. So I'm not gonna put one on though. Don't have any more in my bags. I just wasted my last one about when I was eating dinner. And because I knew it was gonna be there for a half hour just sitting there. So I used it with an incense and I wasted my last lucky egg. Could purchase one right now though, but a little bit too lazy to do so. If you guys have any comments down below, uh, guys want me to do anything, want me to make a specific guide, I have been making beginner's guides for Pokemon Go, so if you guys are interested in checking those out, youtube.com slash for the one Itachi, the exact same playlist this video is in. And if you guys are enjoying my Poke Vlogs, let me know, uh, because it means a lot to me. I have just start restarted this channel. Um, for those of you that have been wondering, uh, what happened to my other videos? What happened to World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, pretty much, I actually, I did delete the account uh, because that was the quickest way for me to remove the videos and I uh, asked Google if I can have the account back. So they gave me the exact same account back with all the videos removed but I re-uploaded all of my Pokemon videos. So for right now we've got a bunch of Pokemon videos up on the channel but um, that's not what I'm going to focus on. But for right now that is what I want to focus on. I love Pokemon Go. Love my Pokemon videos, my Pokemon unboxing. That is going to be the core of the channel. But we are also going to be playing games like FIFA and stuff. But for now, we are owning it up in Pokemon Go and I'm having a blast. This is one game that I just do not see ending. And it's it, I mean, I can see the hype dying down from some of the uncore fans of Pokemon. But for right now, this is a very, very fun game, especially for me. And I'm always out and about, so it's very easy to do. Central Park Trail. So this is the Trail of North. And then uh, when I got to the first Poke Stop here, there was a trail south way on the other side of these mountains. I do not want to walk to that because it is actually really far. So we're going to go ahead and grab the Pokeballs out of this one and a revive. And what's great about these Poke Stops is you do not have to spend real life money in this game at all. Um, if you are out and about actually doing stuff and as you guys can see team valor has taken over this place We are on point uh, What do we got anything to the right over here? Don't see anything. So we are gonna go ahead and move on to the left 
but what do we got over here? It's the community garden. So we're going to go to the community gardens. I know exactly where that is. But again, um, Team Valor has taken this place over. As you can see, there's two gyms right there that we have. There's a third gym over there that we have. Mystic has taken over the control point in this park. Uh, the first Pokestop that we went to did reset, so I will eventually be going there. But Mystic did take the core spot. That one right there, that is like the center point of this park, which is, they have the control, but we got the outside, we're about to attack. And I will do a gym battle before we leave. Uh, not too sure if I'll have vlog footage of it, but I'll definitely be doing the battle and I'll definitely show it to you guys. It'll be one of my first very few bat real, but this will be my first real battle in a gym because I started to actually level up CP wise on my Pokemon. Uh, but for now, there is really nothing over here at all. Uh, I do want to go ahead and check my nearby Pokemon. I've got every single nearby Pokemon, so there's nothing really to be looking out for wild Pokemon-wise either. So for now, we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, community garden. And let me see what the other one is as well. Got a community garden and Metal Cog Butterfly. I have no clue where that is, but it looks like it's right next to the community garden. So we'll go ahead and check that out as well. But again, thank you very much for tuning in so far. Let's get to it. Well, I guess there's a lot of Geodudes over here. I had no clue. We're, we're, oh. Oh, come on. Who caught that? Who caught that? That's what I want to know. Okay, there it is. It came back. So no one caught it. Because I'm looking around. There's absolutely no one around unless there's someone behind me. But there isn't. It is a CP79 Geodude. Not too shabby. Was able to get it on the first flick of the thumb. But let's go ahead and see if we are going to be able to get this one inside the Pokeball without any hassle. Hassle-free? Damn right, it is hassle-free. So let's keep moving on to those Pokestops. Alright, some people are actually smart. They're using their cars to freaking travel around Central Park over here. But, um, that, that's just not me. That's not how I roll. So we're about to get this. Alright, so we finally just reached a garden here. As you guys can see, there is a garden. A nice, beautiful garden. If it's, there we go. There we go. Finally reached a garden. So we're about to get this Pokestop in. And then we're about to head up to another one. That is right in front of our face. I have no clue where this goddamn auto B thing is. But we got some more Pokeballs. That just makes life easier, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I don't know if Pokemon, or Niantic I should say, wants to get us killed or not, but behind me there's supposed to be some big bee statue, but um, I don't I don't think so. So we about to get this metal cog butterfly. It's a butterfly. Looks like a goddamn bee to me. We about to take those Pokeballs and potions and head on over to another Pokestop. Can, can we get one, one good or at least semi rare Pokemon. Just one. One, please. Yeah. Cool. Where are my Blastoise at? Where are my Venusaurs? Where are my Charizards? I'm stuck with a goddamn Marowak over here and I can't get one one cool looking Pokemon. I'm a Porygon. I know, I, I know Ditto hasn't been found yet, but that would be sweet to get. Just found like another rock type. I guess I'm just living in a damn desert today. Uh, it's definitely a Rhyhorn because it's big as. It's a CP79, so it's useless. But I gotta take it. Experience points are experience points. And. Okay, th I, th I thought it bugged out on me. But we got it. Let's get over to the entrance of this park and go get that Pokestop in. Oh, damn, son! Finally found something that's not a rock type. No, Jigglypuff. I don't think I got this. Oh, don't freeze. You can't freeze on me. It's a C I don't care what the CP is. I don't got a Jigglypuff. No way. Am I going to get a new Pokemon added to the decks? Come on. Come on. Sweet. So sweet. We got something out of this today. New Pokemon added to the Pokedex. I knew I didn't have a Jigglypuff. That is a little bit odd, but I got to take what I can take. And we just got that Jigglypuff, son. Brand new to this team. Brand new to the squad. Oh! Oh, even better. That egg hatching. What are we going to get? Come on. Anything but something basic. Venonat. I mean, it's, it's not the worst. I, I can take a Venonat. I can take a Venonat. We'll, we'll deal with it. Oh, XL, son. You know what that means? 193 CP XL. About to get that. Congratulations. You're in the medal. Top 50 poison type Pokemons. That silver. You know what it is. About to get this Pokestop in. It's the entrance to the park. So I could have assumed there was one here. Got another egg, a raspberry, and of course, two Pokeballs. So we're about to hit it over to the car again. We're about to make our way back, and then we will probably leave from there. So for now, let's keep it going. Do got some random Diglett here. Might as well just take it. Might as well just take it for the team. 
uh, Valor's just owning it up over here today. Got him. Diglett in the bag. Experience points in the bag. How are we gonna go ahead and go back over to the garden area? Because all of the Pokestops reset, so we're about to make it back into the back of the uh, park and hit you guys up there. Alright, so about to hit up that road B moth butterfly. I'm pretty sure it was a butterfly. Pokey stop again. It reset. We are basically making our way back to the back of the park right now. And we're about to hit that garden up in a minute as well, which is Pokey Stop. There's the entrance, and there's an entrance gym as well. Uh, Team Valor does have it, and they, we are a level three gym, and we've got every single decent. We got all three. No, two of them are Vaporeon, and one is a Ponyta. Whoever dropped the Ponyta, you, because you're messing up our gym with that scrub. But the two Vaporeons are pretty damn pro. Uh, we also got that gym in the back with that art, two Arcanines in there, and they're really good. I, I just, I just can't really bother with battling right now because I'm just not high CP level. Um, about to get this garden uh, pokey stop in though and I know it's really windy but you guys got to deal with it I mean it's it's goddamn windy out here so all right so I gotta incubate one of these babies up son so we're gonna hit a 5.0 of course as usual and we're gonna start that incubation and we got the oh we got the infinite incubator up right now so we good uh, we're gonna be again I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the map where we're heading over to someone's taking over the gym Valor has every other gym Besides that one, that was always Team Mystics, so I'm assuming the Valor crew is hitting it up hard right now. About to make our way over to this Pokestop over here, which was the Central Park Trail North, and then we'll continue our way around, all the way around, and it looks like the Snorlax Team Mystic took it back over, so not sure what the hell that was about. But we're going to loop our way all the way back, get those two Pokestops, there's five Pokestops left. And then we will make our way out to the park into a new episode. It's probably tomorrow. Who knows? But I haven't found any decent Pokemon. There's a Growlithe and an Eevee, which I wouldn't mind getting. Paris and Zubat I'll take any day because uh, experience points are experience points. We're almost level 9, so hopefully we can hit level 9 soon today. Uh, that would be a great way to end this episode off. But we're about to hit these two Pokestops over here. Make our way around all the way over here, and then the car is right next to that gym. So, hopefully, we can go ahead and start attacking that gym as well. All right, so we are getting close to these two Pokey Stops. About to hit them up, get them free items. Again, I have not found any Pokemon right now. Oh, 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 it's a Zubat. Come on, these are like the hardest ones to catch, too, because they move so much. Got a nice throw, though, so you can't complain about that. Let's see if we're going to get this baby. Let's see if we're going to get this baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, damn. Sweet. Got him. And we're about to hit up this Pokestop as well, so we're going to be golden here. Get this in. Zubat Candy. Pokestop just appeared. Go ahead and spin it. What are we going to get? Raspberry and two Pokeballs. So we'll deal with that. Heading over to that next Pokestop. All right. Got a couple more Pokestops left. Here is the next one. We are back at that Disc Golf Trailhead and got Potion and a couple more Pokeballs. Easy money, easy money. We've got one, two, and we're gonna end off on the third one. And then at the third one, if we haven't found any rare or any decent Pokemon since then, um, I'll actually go ahead and drop a lure module for everybody over there. That's the one where everybody's hanging out at. And there is no lure module there at this point in time. So I'll go ahead and drop one over there for everybody and we will have a Pokemon party for half hour. Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll be nice for once and do something for other people. Drop my modules. We ended up finding easy mode Ekans over here. Go ahead and get this one in. It's, in the do it's inside the dog park of all things. Oh, I can't even reach. This isn't good at all. Got it. Done. Done. Got it. Capture complete. Moving on to that next pokey stop. Probably the easiest capture of all times because the CP is an absolute trash. But look at this, there's no Pokemon at all in sight. This stupid Execute, a Spearow, 
I'll take the Eevee any day because I'm very close to being able to evolve. So we just hit up that Pokestop. We're right next to it. Hopefully it loads really quickly so we can get out of here. But we're going to get closer to it. Maybe that will help. We are in the mountains, so service ain't complete legit pro. Yeah, this ain't working. Do it again. There we go. Spin it. Got them items. Pokeball, another egg. Hopefully I get a 10 kilometer egg for once. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Let's see what we got. Items. No, Pokemon, my bad. For some reason, eggs are Pokemon. I never knew that. It is, I got another five kilometer egg, which was nice. And we about to head over these last two Pokestops. Someone did drop another lure module there, so that's pretty cool. I would definitely go ahead and use that. Is there a time limit on this? They don't show timers? Are you serious? They don't show Pokestop module timers at all. Are you guys, come on, that, that's a, that's a, you guys gotta add that in there. All right, so I have no idea if you guys can even see me anymore. If not, I know it's windy, but if not, I'm still gonna be showing this anyways. We got that execute. Hopefully we can catch it. It's a CP67, which ain't bad. We got that great throw in, which is very cool. I'm still gonna be continuing my walk into the next Pokestop. And then after this Pokestop, we'll go to the car, put some stuff in the car, and then we'll just head over and chill for a good half hour at this uh, other Pokestop where everybody's at. Over there by the basketball courts, if it can focus. There we go, it wasn't too bad, but I'm still moving, so that doesn't help. Ooh, oh, it's an extra small execute. I'm not even gonna be E, but I can't even do Wevels Rancheros with these guys, man. Oh, that was completely useless. Psh, need that extra large for my Wevels Rancheros. All right, well, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with what we got. All right, so we're at that Pokestop. It is the Disc Golf Cage 5, but it's actually Cage 2, because they redid the cage numbers. But that's okay, Niantic. You can be wrong sometimes. And we're about to head over to the car, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the last Pokestop. No more vlogs, bunch of compilations, maybe some voice action here and there if I feel like it. But I just want to say, for those of you that tuned in, thank you very much for tuning in to YouTube.com slash ForTheWinitachi. Another Pokevlog brought to you by ForTheWinitachi. And if you have any questions, post in the comment section down below. Like, favorite, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more content. And let's finish off the video.
Alrighty, so a way to end this vlog, we just got into the car, so we out of that wind, we out of that night times, nighty night, and we about to, we just hit level 9 so we can continue powering up my Marowak, which we are definitely going to do, and it requires a thousand damn Stardust. Ooh, we got that 25, the plus 25 though, which is really good. We're going to keep going on this Marowak as much as we can, going to power him up again, Takes another thousand stardust. We got a plus 23. And let's see if we can do one more. And hopefully it maxes him out. Oh, we can't go anymore. My trainer level's too low. But we got a 487 Marowak. I don't think we got any more candies from our Persian. No, we do not. My Nidorino's just chilling. I'm waiting for him to be able to evolve. And we only got seven Nidoran candies. Because we just spent that on a Nita Ran, I mean my Nita Reno, on a Nita Ran in order to evolve him into that Nita Reno. Uh, Ponyta only got three, just caught one for right now. Got that Rhyhorn though, and we're at 27 out of 50, which is not too bad. Nita Reno, we've caught so many Nita Ran females, and we're about halfway until we can get a Nita Queen. My Venonat chilling, good killing at 18 out of 50, not too bad. Be able to get a Venom off pretty shortly. My Execute, 11 out of 50. Got that Mankey, not too much going with Mankey though, but he's 11 out of 50 as well, which ain't too bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Bulbasaur is just chilling though on the bottom floor at 7 out of 25. Pikachu, I've only got one, so it's at 3 out of 50. I would love to get a Raichu. We've caught tons of Ekans though, 39 out of 50, so we will be able to get an Arbok soon, and hopefully it keeps its extra large buff. We got an extra small Geodude, got 19 out of 25, so we will be able to evolve him into a Graveler very shortly, and we've got an Eevee at 21 out of 25, so again, we will be able to get one of those brand new Eeveelutions pretty shortly as well, and we are going to evolve our damn Zubat, finally do this, Hit him up with a goddamn Golbat, son. Hit him up with a good one. Hit him up with a good one. Come on, Golbat. Come on, son. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Get rid of the extras. Extra large Golbat. Come on. Oh my gosh. It didn't. It, it didn't show it. it. Didn't show the animation. I, I, I'll keep that. Uh, that's fine. It didn't show the animation. Oh well. Register to the Pokédex. We've got that Golbat. Go back extra. God damn it. Kept the extra small. Come on. Bite and poison fang. Fuck off. Fuck you, bitch. God damn. Oh, 356. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. New level. New level. I'm on a new level. I'm okay. Uh, I'll stop with that. But damn, new level. Okay. Uh, EV. Okay. Pidgeotto. I haven't even caught a goddamn Pidgey, son. Where are my Pidgeys at? That's what I want to know. Krabby. Hitting it up with that. 15, oh, I got 15 out of 50. I, didn't, I thought I only caught one crappy. Why am I checking Eevee again? That's what I want to know. It's the same thing as the last one. I got a couple Eevees again for specific Eeveelutions. Got to make sure I get them all right. Uh, 19 out of 50 on the Spiro. The Diglett. I've caught a few of these today. Uh, so we're at 11 out of 50 on him as well. Paris, what are you cooking? What are you cooking? 6 out of 50. Get a sand shoe. I believe this is the only one I've caught. So I'm at 3 out of 50 on that one. Eevee. God damn it. I clicked the Eevee again. Alright, so now we got a Caterpie. I bet you it's only 3 out of 50. Oh, 7 out of 12. My bad, not 50. Same thing with the Weedle. It's out of 12. It's 7 out of 12. Uh, I got a Rattatat. I uh, don't believe I've caught too many of those today. Only 10 out of 25. Going to be able to get Eradicate very quickly, though. That's a nice evolution chain right there. 3 out of 50 on that Staryu. And then let's go ahead and finish it off with these last couple. Got 8 more to go. Got Paris at 6 out of 50. Um, got Charmander. I really want to evolve you, my man. Where are these Charmanders at in my hometown? Got to catch you. Horsey, only 3 out of 50. Why did I catch a Horsey and I'm nowhere near water? That's my question. 3 out of 50 on the Growlithe as well. We did get that new Jigglypuff down there. 7 out of 50 on a Clefairy. Machop, brand new. I don't think I've cut. 3 out of 25. Jigglypuff, I already know. It's 3 out of 50. And then last but not least, we got a Poliwag. That is, um... 3 out of 25. So we do have 40, 42, 42 different Pokemon in our collection right now. The reason why I say 42 is because two of them are extras on an Eevee. So that we makes it 44. So we have 42 different Pokemon. And some of them are at their max evolution stage. I'm not going to waste my Stardust on my Golbat. But my Marowak is damn good. And Gucci. 
Um, it is Rock Smash Dig build, and we are going to be powering up as much as possible. As for the Golbat, though, it is extra small, which kind of hurts, but it does have Bite and Poison Fang, which is a pretty damn good move combination. So I'm going to bear with them for now, but until then, we've got 4.8 kilometers out of our one of our 5.0 eggs so on my drive home i might be able to get that going and we will definitely go ahead and show you guys that for the end of the video thank you very much for tuning in peace out